We're here at the Danone Conventional Center and we're at the Muscle Cars and Corvette Nationals. Please enjoy the next video. Well, yes, this is, uh, this is the last Buick Grand National that was made. Uh, pretty much an icon of the 80s. Personally. Um, as you see the car today, it's a good, it's a driver car. The paint is just beautiful on this car. It's just an awesome engine that... <laughs> Drive those GM cars. Well, there is something I want to do. They're coming out with that new ZR1 Corvette. Oh, the handling, the braking, the power is just phenomenal. The last car at the end of the line, culminating 64 years of automotive production at the plant. It's truly a one-of-a-kind car. Wow. It's a drive, daily driver. We drive it all the time. Well, it sits very well. <laughs> but to get a convertible in this color was extremely hard to get. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> we trailered it out here from Massachusetts, 18 hour ride. This is our wow. first time here at the Chicago show. With cars, I love them, enjoy them, and I guess I'll always do it till the day I die. <laughs> You won't see anything uh, that's this color, and I think that's what makes the car pop. Uh, the color is called Grabber Yellow. It was actually a special color for 69 Shelby, so uh, I spent seven years working on it and about 1,600 hours. And what you're looking at here, Paulette, is our tribute car to Carol Shelby. Drive those GM cars. <laughs> Drive those GM cars. Please enjoy this video of the last and grand national. Welcome to U.S. Class M Muscle Car. Hi, Bob. Can you Hello. tell me more about your car, your beautiful car? Well, yes. This is uh, this is the last Buick Grand National that was made. Uh, pretty much an icon of the '80s. It also represented the last General Motors G car produced. It uh, it only has 31 miles. It's in its original trim as it came down the assembly line uh, and when we arrived at the plant we were at the plant that last day all of these signs were already made for the car it all uh, you come around here I'll show you as it came down the assembly line the employees at the plant signed the car all up under the bottom the engine compartment and uh, we have a lot of the documentation that was on the car as it as it came down the line the uh, window sticker is very unique to the car as well as the front emblem on the front of the car uh, it was the only one produced that had this front header emblem they wanted to put something on the car that made it distinctive from the rest of them the uh, window sticker reveals the date and the time that it was made which was that was uh, inscripted on there before the window sticker was ever put on the car we have an hour long video of the car which we're playing that's uh, General Motors filmed the entire process so my wife and my little boy who was four and he's around here now uh, we were all present at the plant. We had free run of the assembly plant and uh, was able to be a part of it. 
and now it stays in a bedroom in my house. It's been in there for 30 years. This is only the third time that we've gotten the car out of the house. And uh, it's just it's just part of the family. Oh, nice. How many uh, miles it has? Well, the car now has uh, 31 miles. We, uh, we put about six miles on the car when we uh, we got it out for the movie Black Air and uh, carried it to the Buick Centennial in 2003. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, you want me to tell me something about the pain or the wheels? Well, the uh, everything, the finish and everything on the car is exactly like it was as it came down the assembly line. We've tried to pre preserve that even down to the little yellow stickers on the tires. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's just an absolute time capsule. Nice. How, how long is you own this car? Well, I've owned it since uh, day one. We were there at the plant to pick it up and uh, it's never known anybody but me. You got the keys on you? Yes. Uh, yes, I can show you the keys. There's the original, <laughs> original key that they gave it off the semi line. Let's drive it together then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, how many cars you, you took this car? Well, I've only carried it to, uh, it's only been out to one car show, and that was in 2003 to the Buick uh, 100 celebration in Flint, Michigan. Oh, okay. Uh, and it'll go right back into its bedroom after today. Bob, I like your shirt. It's really well, nice. Thank you. We had these uh, made just for this show. And I like, I, frankly, I like this car, the little one, because oh, it's yeah. the same old, old, yep. this, old Buick. Yes, that's the. Is that's, this the that's only the, one they got, or, is, or there's more car in the store? Well, we made that car just for this, for this one. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice to know. I understand. This is you. Tell me more about. That's right. So uh, uh, that was 30 years ago. I guess I've changed a bit since then. Uh, but I was with my family. Uh, we went to the plant, and the, uh, the the people at the plant were gracious enough to let me push some of the buttons, and I got to drop the engine into the car, and I got to ride in the car when it uh, first came off the line on the dyno. Uh, it was it was a great experience. Uh, would you like to tell me more? Sure. So, uh, you know, the car has, has really been a, a part of the family. Uh, you know, I've grown up with the car in the house. Uh, uh, I remember, you know, as a kid bringing my friends over to the house and, and, and you know, I'd carry them back to the back bedroom and show them the car. Uh, it's, it's sort of a, a unique experience growing up with a car in the house. That's really nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.
guys please subscribe and like our videos and share thank you